What the fuck? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Daddy told me in Christ like I was screaming at the referee just like my This is thought of Oh I'm not happy this. I'm not happy. Yeah boy. Daddy told me in Christ like but nobody never tell you when you be Alright guys, I'm Jack and welcome back to Racing Glory. Oh my god! Alright boys and girls, you know what day it is, okay? It's the day. I'm gonna call it from now on, I'm not gonna call it a reward day. I'm gonna call it the day of disappointment because we always get our hopes up. The team of the week, juicy as ever. You still got screen cards in packs. There's all the potential to get good stuff. We've got gold two, we've got rank one. Should be getting something today. <laughs> if it was a all you can eat buffet and I could hand pick whatever we were gonna get, I'd give me a red Fabinho, a nice red Mbappe. Give me screen Firmino out of the packs. <laughs> So boys and girls, let's just get this disappointment out of the way. Let's get the red picks done. So we've got two two choices with uh, with four options. So red Fabinho, please, EA, please. No, no, no. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the one. Get it out of the way. It's not going to be red Fabinho, is it? Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I'll take Nkulu. Uh, you know what? Could have been worse. I, I mean, it could have been much better, but... Right, boys and girls. So we have seven packs in the store. Again, I'm not expecting anything because we've been shafted again and again. Kind of getting bored of it at this point. I'm almost tempted not to include uh, rewards in my videos anymore because how shit they are. But I digress. Let's open these packs. And what we got? So rare players, rare mega power. So we got four really good packs and then three not very good packs. So let's get the German premiums out of the way because, I mean, I might just skip. I'm going to skip them. If I get Messi's and Ronaldo's, then I've kind of fudged myself. It's not going to happen. So let's yep, skip pack. Yeah, there you go. Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other two, the, the rare gold pack and the other jumbo premium because they're just so bad, lads. Fuck you, kid. You're adopted. Right, jumbo premium number two. Skip pack. Don't even care. No, I won't get anything. I have not got a single walkout from this. I, don't, I mean, I may have got boards, probably got boards, but that's about as good as I've got. There you go. Yeah, so you know, good decision skipping these because they are shite. We've got a UCL board. Could be something good. Doubt it. But it could be. Is that Dorgan Hazard? I don't think he sells. So uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up on his price, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, no, okay. I'm just going to keep hold of these because when there's like some sort of Champions League objective, they're going to go up in price massively. So. Right, boys and girls, now now we're talking, okay? This is where I'm ready to be disappointed. If I don't get at least, I always say this, I say this every fucking week. If I don't at least get one walkout, I'm leaving the room. And, and uh, we end the video here. I need one walkout and I'll be happy. I don't care what it is at this point. I'll fucking take a Rakitic. Uh, I'll take a UCL 84 rated at this point. We're not getting a board. Oh boy, this is, this is. Three packs remaining. These on paper are three really good packs. And I want to see some walkouts now, EA. Please, man, I'm so. Oh, shit. Here we go again. He's this pop <laughs> Okay, he's got he's lost it. It's over. Right. Rare Mega number two. Come on, EA. Come on, I'm bored of this now. I'm bored of fucking saying the same shit. Boards, no walkout, but it is boards. Come on. See yeah. Oh man, fuck sakes, man. I was I saw friend Oh the Tweedy. I, I mean, it's not great, I guess. It's better than fucking Rabio. But when I when I saw boards in French, I started to get a bit excited because it could be. All right, we've got another Champions League. It could obviously be Varane, Langlet, Usman de Mele. There's actually a handful of good French boards. Right, boys and girls, it comes down to the rare players pack. I want to see a walkout. Or oh, as like I said, the video is done. I want to see bo boards at least. Oh fuck you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fuck you. Like I'm so. See you guys. See you guys next week. Okay. Have a good one. 12 seconds later. So that was a fucking lie. Right, boys and girls. So the team, once again, has not changed from uh, previous episodes. I was obviously banking. Well, not banking, but I was hoping and praying that we were going to get the red Fabinho so that we could slot him up at striker and then sell our what, Genie Wine Eldon for, what, 150k? 160k we would have made. So but we obviously did not get the red Fabinho. I might still pick him up. I don't think he's too expensive. I don't know if he's better than White. Obviously, he's better defensively and physically than Wine Eldon, but Wine Eldon has a lot more pace and actually can shoot a little bit. So I'm not sure 
sure whether I should get Fabinho's uh, in form or not. I might do, I might not. But yeah, like I said, no changes, boys and girls. But you're probably wondering, well, you're not wondering because you've seen the title, but just in case you didn't read the title, maybe. We are going to be reviewing Markio today, boys and girls. We've been waiting a little while, and I've been delaying it for, like, two weeks now. But today, today is the day, motherfuckers. Oh, my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay I'm going to say it right here, boys and girls. This is starring Neymar, probably the best left winger in this game. Maybe Thierry Henry's middle, but like, like just in terms of the meta this year, there aren't that many players as good as Mark Overmars. I'm going to say it. He's by far my favorite left winger in the game. And I just, I reckon he's probably going to be the best left winger in this game just because there's a, well, there's a few reasons, but uh, let's just talk about him, okay? okay? Main reason I think that this is definitely, definitely up there as one of the best left wingers in this game is the five-star weak foot. I know Neymar has also a five-star weak foot, so that's why I'm saying that Neymar's probably a little bit better than Marco over Mars. Played 120 games, boys and girls. We scored nearly 90 goals and 73 assists. This is from the cam position. We do play him as a cam in 4 and 2 and 2 I know that's not the craziest ratio, but I think... I'm just trying to think of some of those, because some of those games have been subbing him off to do objectives and stuff like that. So uh, we probably have to take a few of those games off. But I'm just going to say it. Like I said, he's just been incredible for me, especially in Fight Champions. The guy is just a machine. He scores, he gets assists makes right he just does it all like, i really like john barnes in this game but over mars he shits on john john barnes i'm just gonna say it. he's so much better all right i'm gonna go cry what is gonna put most people off boys and girls is the freestyle no, skill moves oh, i don't God, do skills fuck, it's not a, it's not a problem for me but i know that a lot of you out there that do do skill moves are gonna be like nah not touching it freestyle skill moves i'm telling you boys and girls the rest of the stats are so good if you even if you don't do skill moves i'd say that he's still really really good right boys and girls so let's just talk about the man's pace in fact, let's not talk about it. Let's just admire it. Just, just, just inhale it a little bit. Just intake. intake. This is getting weird, bro. I don't know if I want to continue doing this. Boys and girls, this is some blistering ass pace, okay? The, he is mental how fast he is. And he feels so much faster than all the other players on my team. And I've got some fast players on my team, but... He is so, so, so quick. He's the quickest player that I have used in terms of the way he feels. He's just unreal on the ball. Like, he's just unbelievably fast. His shooting stats, boys, are pretty solid. Nothing incredible. Like, 82 finishing is not particularly amazing. I will say it feels a lot better than the finishing displayed here. It, it feels really good. He doesn't... He rarely misses. His long shots are absolutely mwah, just fantastic. His finesse long shots outside the box. One of my favourite parts about this card. Just phenomenal. It's just bending them top corner. Absolutely love his long shots. Boys and girls, the dribbling stats are absolutely mental. You've got 89 agility and 89 in-game dribbling. Phenomenal stuff. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's about it. Obviously, it's not very good physically. Uh, the passing's nothing spectacular to talk about, but it feels completely fine. Like I said, boys and girls, this is a card with the five-star weak foot, with that amazing pace, decent shooting stats, with it, in my opinion, feel better than the arm. This card, boys and girls, like I said, my favourite left winger in the game. I'd say he's at least top two, probably top three uh, left wingers in the game. I, I, the only ones I'd say are better. Maybe Henri's uh, middle, and the only reason I'd say he wouldn't be is I don't think he's quite as fast. I think he's like 90 pace, so obviously Marco Mars is a lot faster, and obviously he has a better weak foot than Henri. I am going to guess and say that Neymar's probably a little bit better, because obviously Neymar also has the five star weak foot, but he also has the dribbling that Marquio has, but he's got better dribbling and he's got better shooting, so. But he doesn't have as much pace as Marquio, so that if you want someone that's just out and out, blisteringly fast and amazing at dribbling, I'm telling you, Marco Mars is the fastest, and best dribbler I Shut the fuck up! No one cares about- Anyway, boys and girls, I don't think we need to talk about this too much. I just want to kind of show him off to you guys, like, because I'm just trying to tell you, like, he is sick. So we're just going to jump into a little bit of gameplay with Marky over Mars, and, uh, yeah, I'm just- I mean, I'm just going to say it right off the bat. I'm expecting a good-ass performance from Marco, because he never- he very rarely lets me- know. even if I'm playing shit, Marco over Mars usually at least grabs himself a goal and an assist, or, you know, he's just- he is that good. So, boys and girls, without further ado, let's jump into game number one. Marco, beautiful, look at that dribbling boys, go on, and bang, the, the dribbling though, like you're seeing it, he just feels incredible on the ball, go on, I'm seeing that run from Marco, oh what a pass from Crespo, this should be an easy goal, I'm going to go alone, I shouldn't have done that, oh, I should have passed, I just, I don't know, I felt I could have finished it, that's off the pitch isn't it, no it's a good ball, oh Crespo, oh, yes, I'm 
Mazda 1-2. Oh, beautiful. Into the spec. Should be easy. This is it. Yeah, there you boy. go. He, doesn't, he, like, he just doesn't miss. He, oh, he'll miss every now and again, but if you get a clear-cut chance, he won't miss. On the counter, Mark Overmars. Look at that pace, Why boys. Just blistering through Why the fence. Honestly, I bet you I can go all the way. Bet you he goes all the way. Look at him. He's just... Look at him. He's probably going to rage quit just seeing the pace. What a save. That's... No. What the fuck? I think he's going to rage quit. No, he's going to rage quit. Let's go. Okay, boys. Not the longest game in the world because obviously for some reason quit at 2-0, which is a little bit odd. It was a very early quit, admittedly. But uh, to be honest, I got to show you guys quite a lot about Overmars in that game. Honestly, I'm telling you, the fastest card in this game. Like, I'm just saying, I don't care if there's cards that might be faster than him. Like, for example, well... Adama Traore might be faster. When, when I used his inform, he was pretty fucking fast. But other than Adama Traore, there aren't many cards that feel this good on the ball. The run this guy makes, boys and girls, are absolutely fantastic. And you did get to see some of that with that uh, with the second goal. Uh, he usually finishes most of his chances. Obviously, he did have a couple of chances saved in this game, which is a little bit disappointing to see because I want to really show off his finishings. I'm telling you, it is world-class finishing, but uh, obviously not bearing every single chance he got. But just the amount of chances this guy guy creates boys and girls is absolutely worth the money in my opinion like uh, he's my favorite card in this game I've used I'm gonna stop talking because I, I just keep babbling uh, I'm, my, my, uh, I'm being shit at commentary today boys and girls I am I am shit yeah I guess so yeah so boys and girls let's jump straight into game number two nice now we counter I need a run come on Crespo get on your bike lad what a pass from Mark Overmars Crespo's on his bike I'm seeing it I'm going to cut it back, give it to Sabitza, who's going to hit Finesse. Sabitza, don't do it like that, boy, it's too dirty. Good ball to one out him. Since it was, why is Sabitza like my striker right now? Go on, sweat across to Crespo. Oh, it's too now, too easy, mate, too easy. It's filth, it's pure, unadulterated filth. Oh, Yo, Gooey. look at this fucking no, that's eight. bullshit. No, no, no. I tackled. No. 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 Can't hit the credit. Nice. Rate that. It's dropped to Marchio. Marchio's going to absolutely blitz. No, he has. Look at that. And his sweat. No. I'm an idiot. Play him. Look at the pace. Blitz is just blitz is Nesta. I need an option, though. Come on, he's somehow still got it. I need an option. Sabitza for the second. Good block. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Is that a joke? What? Let me run. Seeing your mark. Oh my god, that is a world class pass from. Frustrating for them, really. Who the fuck outpaced me? Look at that. What a pass into Mo. Beautiful. Why now, them? Finish it, please. Oh, why now, them? That should. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. That's good. Crespo, hold it. Look at that. Marco, come on. That's game. What a goal from Marco. Oh, come on. Nah, it's not. That should be that, though, EA. Blow the whistle. There we go. Come on. Great, great performance. Good stuff. Overall, boys and girls, a great performance from Mark Overmars. Again, getting a really important goal to make it 3-1, just to seal the performance. Uh, he was just overall a handful for defenders with that with an incredible pace uh, in dribbling. He was just an absolute nightmare to deal with. Yeah, boys and girls, there's just really not a lot to say. Like like I said, he's just he's so quick and he's so good on the ball that he just he just is amazing. He makes things happen. So, boys and girls, let's jump into one more game with Marquio, just in case you're not completely sold on this absolute legend of the game. Alright boys, jump in this game number three. Go on, give me runs. Wijnaldum. Big touch. Oh, look at that. Perfection. Into Crespo. Crespo. Knock it. Yes! Come! Mark? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! For fuck's sake! Had I scored that earlier, absolutely sitter from Mark Overmars, we'd be 1 0 up right now. Instead, we're 1 0 down. This is good. It's a good little steady build up. Press by. I need a run. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wynaldum! Oh, spicy finish from Wynaldum. Great pass from, um, from Mark Yo as well. That was a great assist. What's up, fuckers? This is why, 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 why does just, why? How is it possible? 
Oh, come on, Crespo. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Oh, beautiful. Marco, right foot. Come on. It's the weak foot, boys. A five-star weak foot. Beautiful finish. Good stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. That, oh, that is beautiful. Fantastic football between Salah and Crespo. Have we got a final pass? Oh, Oh, that's one of the best goals I've scored this year. That football was immaculate. Oh, that's good football again. That's beautiful football again. What? Uh, oh, Mars, what the fuck was that touch? Oh, he's got a back. What the fuck's going on? Shoot, man! Goal on side, yes! Oh, my God, what was that? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Well, first things first, boys and girls. Three wins in a row in the last video. Three wins in a row in this video. It's a new McGell, right? It's a new McGell. Uh, I'm starting. Shut your fucking mouth! No Shut the fuck up, you cunt! So, boys and girls, just a really quick summary on Overmars because I feel like I'm I'm talking to a wall at this point. I've said it enough times. Pace, dribbling, finishing, five star weak foot. If you, if that just that appeals to you, which it should, because it's fantastic. He, he is absolutely sublime. He makes things happen because of that incredible pace and dribbling he has. He pulls strings. He's just fantastic. I'm not sure how many goals he scored in this episode. I think it was about three or four. Got a handful of assists as well. But he just was magnificent, making things happen left and right. Did miss a few chances, which did surprise me because usually he's prolific. Other than that, just is unreal. I'm telling you, boys, if you need an icon left winger or just left winger in general and if you've got like sort of 700-ish K, phenomenal. He is absolutely world class. My favorite player in this game so so far, he is slightly better than Salah and he's slightly better than Crespo for me. As a team though, boys and girls performed really good uh, in all three games. Was really good defensively, surprisingly, well for the most part. Uh, and, and Marcel Sabitzer was unreal. Wijnaldum was amazing. Carvalho played great. The team was phenomenal. And that, and that goal I scored in that game, I think it was the Sabitzer goal. That was pretty good football. Like, I was really proud of that goal. So yeah, I'm just, I'm in a good place right now. FIFA wise, boys. Weaker leagues tomorrow when I'm recording this. Obviously it's not when it's going out, but I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you did enjoy this episode of The Race of Glory. If you did, smash the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one, alright? Peace.